All right, so we're gonna start this afternoon with a couple of different things. Um, still in dress clothes, as you can see, straight off of work. Rag. Wipe my hands off. So I'm about to get it on all of my clothes. And um, I'll bring a couple of these items down. Show you what I got here. On one, I got a cast master. And on these others, I have a uh, rainbow needlefish. What the hell's wrong with this thing? This thing's all out of whack. Oh, got one. Look at that. I wasn't even... I wasn't even trying. Brother. What's wrong with this thing? Oh, man. I hope I don't lose it. Something's wrong with my damn... Uh, Look at that. What the hell? This damn thing's wrong. Alright, well, we're definitely going to stick to this. I'm having technical issues. Ushels right now. Dang it. Uh, tied on to about 30 feet of 20 pound pink Invisibraid. And then tied on to a liter of a 20 pound There he goes. Alright. Hold on, baby. You ain't going nowhere. He's not right now, you're not. He's trying to go somewhere. Hold on. Alright. Out of breath. <laughs> oh, here it is. Jeez. As soon as it hit the water with that cast master. Bro, as soon as it hit the water, no lie, you seen that? As long as they're 10 inches. Little tap right there. Me bending them teeth on that. Uh. Can you see that? There he goes. Ah! He came back for it. He brought himself all the way over here. The way that them teeth are bent, the hooks are bent on this uh, cast master is really affecting the performance of it. Uh, not only the performance of it, but also the hook ratio because they got tapped quite a few times before uh, before this guy got on there so on definitely a rod there it goes there it is come on baby come on you going just enough. That's it. Just enough to hook you. Ah, that's the hit. Come back for it. Like that flash. Don't there it goes. Yeah. Felt them hit. Left it there. Twist a little bit. Oh. My little needlefish. It's just the profile of them that's so enticing to these white bass. It has a flash. There it is. I'm doing top water with this sucker. I do have some weight to it, so I don't want to get stuck on anything. It is what I tell you. Let him go right back for it. After he tapped it, bounced it again. After I jerked it, there's a big old strap, like a towing strap. I don't know what it is. That runs all the way down there. I lost a couple of needle jig, uh, needlefish jigs this morning. Oh, foul hooked him. 
That's what you get. So we'll go back. There it is. Oh nibbles. Oh nibbles. <laughs> Just, I felt you, you know. Kind of no need, you know, to use anything else. Oh, buddy, why are you coming over here? What is that? All right, hold on. Um, hello? Yeah. Yeah? Where you at? Uh, right here at the creek. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. I'm gonna ask you one thing. I'm gonna ask you one thing and one thing only. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. Well, trouble in paradise. There goes those little rainbow needlefish I was telling you about. Oh, my dear. I really don't even feel like fishing. <sighs> this is just a little too small. Has to be ten inches. Oh my god. Yeah, well I'm using the same same technique. Switch. There it is. Now one of the differences on the bait that I'm using, if you notice these uh white bass are starting to be all one size this one just makes it I'm gonna just tighten up the drag a little that is you got me sucker that other one just swinging around going crazy I thought he had took it off the little jig head felt a little off there it is as you can see with these little jigs Little jig heads with these little uh, rainbow needlefish. I think the description online was called uh, rainbow needlefish aluminum bedded bait. I think it's called. And you got to keep in mind how uh, small that mouth is. And this is what they have to hit. You know, that's actually pretty big for that. So they have to literally. It has to be like literally on point, like bullseye. There it is. Busy over here looking at. Oh no. All right, commotion they got going on in there. Party over here. Party over there.
is. Yep. Inches. There it is, just letting it float to the bottom. Then you have to twitch that one. This one is a little smaller, so oh man, you swallow that one's perfect in the mouth. Jeez, we have a bleeder. Bro, I'm sorry. Hope you're able to swim off, man. Yep. Sweet. Always a good thing. Is. Just let it flap. Just let it sink to the bottom. Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to carry that box without it breaking apart. You can feel them hitting it, it's just too big, you know? Okay. If I hook this guy too, it's a little bit bigger. And just one for good measure. Hopefully I don't get stuck on that damn thing. Oh no! <laughs> Jeez. Dude, I had just been talking about how to stay away from that and I broke a hook. Jeez. A better hook than the damn lure. So let me um forgot a way to carry everything. I'm not having to uh, come back. Oh no, 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 no. No! <laughs> Shit. All right, well, we'll figure it out.